The trend is your friend is the very first thing that my trading mentor told me. And it wasn't until I trusted this process that it actually worked for me long term and I was able to do this for a living. This right here is Costco. And what does it mean by when I say the trend is your friend? The biggest problem for most traders is they just look at price fluctuation. All they do is look at the candles going up and down and they say, well, the stock is up today. I have to be in it. The stock, my stock that was up yesterday is down tomorrow. I got to get out of it. No, it's not about that. What it's about is this long-term trend. This here is Costco, like I said. When I'm trading long-term, I am looking for my stochastic, which is my long-term trend line, my weekly trend line, that is going to tell me the direction that the stock is going based on the volume, based on the participation in it. I want to enter there when it's around 32%. Around 32%, I get an engulfing candlestick. Now, when do I exit this thing? The great thing about this, this is April of 2021. You could have stayed in Costco all the way up to this level. And how did I know how to tell you that? It's because I was following my trend line. We got over 80% and we just went sideways. And as long as you're going sideways and your red line's not dropping below this horizontal line right here, you can stay in the stock. That means that you still have a good positive trend. As soon as it drops below 80%, that's when you make your exit. Then you know that the trend is no longer positive. It's a negative trend. That's when you can go and start to short this thing. But you could have made money from down here 360, 380, whatever it is, to 480, 490, whatever that number is. But the point in saying that is trust the trend. Now, this one seemed like it was pretty easy because you really had the, the stock price went up. It might have dipped a little bit in here. Let me show you a real life example of a stock that I was in earlier in April that was not so friendly, but I stuck with it and I ended up making about 24% on this trade. That's not typical but it is if you trust your trend. So we had a stock that was falling and you had these nice engulfing candlesticks and I shorted this thing all the way down through the sweet spot. Now what happened? It was falling, falling, falling. And then you notice I had a rebound from about $50 to nearly $70 a share. That's a big give back and profit for me. But why did I stay in the stock? I stayed in it because I was in this under oversold area and I didn't pop over 20% until I was up in this area down here. So I let this thing fall, 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 rebound on me, stayed in the stock through this entire rebound from about $50 to about $65. And then I let it fall right back down. I ended up exiting somewhere in the 57 range. So I ended up making that much money instead of making that much money because I was able to trust my trend. On this channel, we teach you everything money, trading, value investing, options, real estate. The more you understand, the less you will fear. I'll catch you on the flippity flop.